Hello friends. Can you read? What is written over here? Yes, our environment. What comes in your mind when you read or hear the word environment? So let us know about the environment. Look at the pictures. You know all these things very well. What material are they made from? Where do we find these materials? And what are the uses of these things? These things are made up from different materials which we get from environment. And these things are useful to us in many ways. You can name these things too. Where do we find them? And what are they used for? We get all these things from plants. It is a food. There are many things around us. They form our environment. There are stones and rocks and soil. There are rivers and streams and lakes. There is air without which we cannot breathe. There are hills and mountains and jungles. All these things are natural which are part of our environment. Along with all these things, the things which are made by humans such as houses, roads, bridges are also part of an environment. Land which is used for agriculture as well as which is not used for agriculture that is barren lands are also part of our environment. We also see many animals around us. Different types of trees and bushes, creepers and climbers make our environment beautiful. And you know children, we too are a part of this environment. Each and everything around us is part of our environment. Now let us know more about different parts of our environment. Now let us look at a stone and a sparrow in our surrounding and compare them. A stone remains where it is. Its place changes only if someone picks it up and moves it. It doesn't eat, so it doesn't grow bigger and it doesn't have babies either. It's not the same with sparrow. They build nests. They move here and there on their own. They eat insects and grains. That is why they grow. They lay eggs in nests and little sparrows hatch from these eggs. Sparrows take a lot of care of their young ones. Why do we see these differences between the sparrow and the stone? The sparrow is a living thing and the stone is a non-living thing. Things in our surrounding form two groups, living things and non-living things. Living things are of two kinds, plants and animals. Animals have babies and seedlings grow from seed. The seedlings then grow into plants. This tells us that plants are living things. Let us see some examples of living things. Butterfly, grass, tiger and fish. Can you add few more in the list? Then do it. Name some examples of non-living things. Can you name some examples? Then do it and write in your notebook. See you in the next video. Bye.